right, well, here we go. Game number five. Okay, guys. Grim Turtle versus Mega Fox. Yes. Houston versus San Antonio. These are uh, considered to be uh, two of the strongest. Two of the players. finest folks yeah. in Texas overall. Um, and Grim Turtle, uh, some would say, is actually the best player in Houston. And uh, I think it, I think it's well beyond a doubt that Mega Fox is the best player in uh, in Texas. But Grim Turtle right now is honestly giving Mega Fox a run for his money as we go to game number five. Yeah, absolutely. And we saw these explosive damage, the incredible combos between the two of them. Um, these guys just both have great decision making, and the edge game is so exciting. Oh, so exciting. And something worth noting is this is Mega Fox's counter pick, and I think it makes sense for him. Mega Fox is one of those players who has excellent platform oh! mobility, and uh, we're going to probably see that come into play as we go on to Did battle. Did you see that up tilt? Oh, yes. Gosh, Grim Turtle is making such great use of that normal. And he uses it not only for spikes, but he thinks of it, you know what? Let me use it on a combo tool. This dude's hanging above me. Let me bring him back down so I can put some jabs on him, too. Grim Ooh. Turtle almost was able to KO. But whoa, Gosh. the overcommitment with that Falcon Kick. He's going to try to hold onto the edge there, anticipating that he was going to overshoot it, and that's where the up tilt was coming from. Mm -hmm. But Grim Turtle now, on his edge guard game, we saw him use amazing back airs, down tilts, and then those jabs. As soon as you see him jump up off the ledge, he is now a very valid target. That down smash is going to send him across the length of the stage as well into the blast zone. Great punishment. And what's the reoccurring pattern that we're seeing? Almost every round that Mega Fox has lost, he has failed to KO Grim Turtle as quick as he can. He has failed to KO Grim Turtle first. And now, back to zero. Who is going to run? Let, we will find out who, who's going to open up here with those nares. That's that's what's so powerful between two of them, is both of them have these great nares, and, and what you're seeing from, from, from Mega Fox particularly is that he loves using these nares as he drops down and crosses up and uses those up tilts, like I mentioned earlier. But great punishments there from Grim Turtle. You'll see down throws into up airs, into using these platforms, and he clips them by the ankles there. That was really great. I mean, we may have praised Mega Fox for how well he does with platforms, but Grim Turtle utilizing that up air to get so much coverage whenever he's underneath those platforms overall. Oh, yeah. Mega Fox off stage. Hold Crucial on to the jab. jab. Gentleman forcing Mega Fox off once again, missing with the down tilt. And yet again, the gentleman coming into play. He's standing at the edge, holding down jab, waiting for the first available time for Mega Fox to get docked. And that time he uses the down smash because he wasn't anticipating another getup. But Mega Fox is able to trip him up by using that quick getup on stage. Whoa! That's gonna be it. Mega Fox knocked to the loser's bracket, and Grim Turtle is going to winner's finals. In that exchange... That would just such a great exchange back and forth between all those stocks across that entire set. Absolute monsters between the two of them.